Hello everyone, this is Vanessa Alexander Marshall. I am back home in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I hope everyone has had a great weekend. I hope everybody's enjoying football. We are enjoying football. My husband is a little disappointed because the Bears lost. I'm waiting for tomorrow night, Monday night football, when my New Orleans Saints play. I am, yes, part of the Who That Nation. So, again, I hope everybody's had a great weekend. Yes, we've been waiting a long time for football. Football is finally here. But I wanted to do a refresher on both of my books, How to Become the Best Network Marketer Possible, and Are You a Network Marketer or No? Um, this is part one of what I'm doing today. I will do the other part in about 30 or 40 minutes or so. Um, so I just wanted to do this refresher on my book and I'm going to hold up my book for y'all on what I'm going to do. I'm doing a short presentation, not to keep y'all very long because I know it's football and there's football coming on tonight. There's two Monday night football tomorrow night. Again, that's what I'm excited about is Monday night football when the Saints play. So here is my book. <laughs> yeah. So here is my book, how to become the best network marketer possible. I'm going to talk about that today. Why am I doing a refresher on how to become the best network marketer um, possible? Well, for some of y'all that know, um, I have taken a change uh, in my business. Um, I'm still part of network marketing. Uh, my husband still has his travel business with Evolution Travel. That is the network marketing company that we have been with since they began. Um, but I've taken a bit of a turn and I've gone back to my roots. I've gone back to the direct selling roots. And I'm now a jewelry merchandiser. And not only do I have a couple pieces available for sale uh, on eBay, um, I am also in the flea market of Louisiana in Prairieville, Louisiana. So I have a booth out there at the flea market of Louisiana in Prairieville, Louisiana. But I still do it and I do pretty well out there. And I also try to help people who are trying to get into business. It doesn't matter if it's a network marketing business or um, just a regular storefront. Um, how to be the best that you can be. If it's network marketing, MLM, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how you can be the best network marketer possible. And not only just network marketing, just business in general. So I hope that both my presentation and my book will help you along the way. Here's my book. And I'll show you how you can get my book. But I'm really hoping to help people um, how you can be the best that you can be. Now, again, why am I doing this? Well, yesterday, I had an incident that happened. And it made me and my husband think. And we did a little research. And a light bulb came on. And the one thing that happened to me, and I mean, it really just like, wow, really? Did, did this guy just really do that? One of those kind of things. I have my booth. And some people, uh, you know, I'm starting to get um, noticed out there at the flea market. People know me, are starting to really know me, um, not with just my books, but with me being a jewelry merchandiser. And this guy came up. Um, my vendors that are next to me, I mean, I've been out there. We all get along just fine. All of us vendors pretty much get along with each other. We support each other. We talk to each other and so forth and so forth. Sometimes if it's slow, we talk, you know, where are the customers and this, that, and the other. Well, this one guy came up, and our vendors next to us, they sell alligators. They sell alligator skins, alligator heads, and so forth. This guy comes up. I've never seen this man before in my life. He comes up, and he buys all of their alligator heads, drops, pays a little over $500, and gives them cold hard cash. He tells them, okay, now I'm going to these. Y'all can go ahead and go home. You've made your money for the day. Well, my people that are next to me that sell those, that they sold, you know, he sold, um, he bought their stuff. They looked at me and they said, you know what, we're going to go ahead and go. We've made our money for the day, but we'll be back tomorrow, which was today and of course I'm not out there um, today because um, we have church obligations and um, I really want you know hadn't been at church for about a month and that's one thing I don't like doing I don't like missing church so I'm like okay but the man came by my booth next and he said yeah I'm gonna come talk to you later so I kind of went okay something about this guy I had kind of a bad vibe about this guy Okay, I had a real bad vibe about him. 
So after they left and he took their alligator heads, he came to me and he looked at my stuff. He goes, oh, you're a jewelry merchandiser. He mentioned my whole name. And I also told him, you know, I've written two books on network marketing and this, that, and the other. He said, yeah, I've been coming out here for, I've been doing this for over 20 years and I have a new store. Oh, you really need to join my business. I want you to take a look. So he kind of started prepping me more of he was trying to do some undercover rec uh, cross recruiting. Like, okay. Mind you, I have a booth. And I don't like leaving my booth um, unattended for so long. But even though I have my kids that help me, I didn't want to do that. So what ended up happening was the guy just flat out told me, you have nice stuff, but what you're selling is trash. Really? He flat out told me all the stuff I had was trash. And I went, and you're supposed to be a businessman, and you're telling a person, a, a fellow business person, I'm a businesswoman, you're telling me that the things I have is trash. He said, oh yeah, what you're selling is just junk. Nobody's going to buy that mess. You need to come and see what we have. We have quality stuff. We're with this, 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 this. We have this, this, this. I give this whole thing. You matter of fact, you can sell this whole pack of jewelry, but you'll have to buy it from me $29 each item. It's about 100 items in there. Something kept telling me something about this guy is just not right. Something is just not right with this guy. So what I did was I did some research on his company and the jewelry that he had. And as it turns out, it's a network marketing company. It's an MLM. So it really got me thinking back to my books. This guy was supposed to be a network. He's supposed to be a network marketing. He's supposed to be part of an MLM. How are you doing? He's supposed to be part of a network marketing company. He's supposed to be part of MLM. And you've been doing this for all these years. You don't know the first thing about network marketing. You don't know the first thing about being professional. You don't know the first thing about how you recruit someone. You don't know if I've been part of a network marketing company. You don't know if I'm already associated with a network marketing company. You just flat out and just started insulting me. So it really got me thinking, you know what? There are people that are doing network marketing. There are people that are doing business that are part of um, of this and you don't know the etiquette of network marketing you don't know how to be professional in network marketing you don't know how to really be a business person so I've decided to do a refresher on my based on my book how to become the best network marketer possible I am going to do this again and I hope this time I'm going to get people to really pay attention and at the end I'm going to show you how you can get um, my book how to become the next best network marketer possible so I have my presentation up I want to turn my computer right now to the um to my laptop and we're going to do a very short presentation again based on my book how to become the best network marketer possible so I'm going to switch it over so I hope you are able to see the screen how to become the best network marketer possible I'm not going to keep it because again I know it's football and I'm watching football too so this is going to be, again, a quick um, presentation on how you can be the best network marketer possible. And please don't be unprofessional like the man that was towards me um, yesterday. So let's get started. And really what I'm doing is this is just an overview of what I feel a professional network marketer should be. And I'm really hoping um, that this system helps someone wanting to become a network marketer already in the industry have a better idea on how to behave in the network marketing circuit and hopefully learn how to run a better, smarter, more efficient home-based business, okay? Again, let me repeat that. Hopefully, you'll be able to learn how to run a better, smarter, more efficient home-based business. So, these are really just experiences that I have gone through. And I'm just going to give you just some basic tools on how to behave in network marketing. So, let me just give this disclaimer. This doesn't mean that I'm absolutely 100% just um, 1 million percent, okay, I have all these degrees and this, 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 this on, on network marketing. This is things that I have experienced. 
So please, this is strictly based on personal experiences combined with research that I've done. Um, I do not feel the experiences I've gone through will be the same, but please be advised. These are only personal experiences. You may not go through these things. There are some people that do, some people that don't. So this is just a disclaimer I always give. So let me just introduce myself and tell you a little bit about myself. Um, well, first of all, I was first introduced to network marketing by my dad um, in 1991. My dad was Jesse Alexander Jr. He um, introduced me um, to network marketing. And back in 1991, when he first got started, I was about 15 years old. I was about a sophomore um, in high school, about sophomore, junior in high school, something along the range. And he started a home-based business, and he was the reason that he encouraged me to start a home-based business. He said, this is what you need to do. This home-based businesses are going to be successful. Network marketing is going to be the new thing that you're going to hear about in the future. But you got to remember, this was back in 1991 when he was saying network marketing is the next big thing. I thought he was crazy. I'm thinking, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? You know, I'm 15. I'm a kid. I don't know what you're talking about. But apparently my dad knew something because he ran a successful home-based business. He encouraged me to major in business in college and to run my own home-based business, which is what I do today. Um, he was very successful. And when he first started his home-based business, which was indirect sales, he started off with a company called SMC. And then he moved on to something that's very known uh, in the MLM circuit. He moved to Amway and he was very successful at Amway. He ran his, my dad ran his business for 10 years and he ran his business up until he could no longer do it in 2001 when my father was diagnosed with lung cancer. And I mean, my dad was still trying to run his business while going through chemotherapy and he was in stage four and still trying to, you know, do what he could, but he could no longer do it. And my dad succumbed to lung cancer back in 2001. But my background is accounting. Um, I love numbers. I've always been a fan of math, but he wanted me to major in business. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do a medium, you know, part business, part math. So I majored in accounting. But after my dad died, I kind of just lost the passion of direct sales. I lost the passion of network marketing. And I just didn't do anything with it until a childhood friend of mine reintroduced me to network marketing in 2012. And I got involved with the network marketing company and my husband and I saw success and some things happened in the company and we left the company. And now I am where I am today. Because I left that company, that's what prompted me to um, write my first book, which is what I am talking about today, how to become the best network marketer possible. Um, so in a nutshell, what is network marketing? Well, network marketing is defined as a business model, and I hope you see this, a business model in which a distributor network is needed to build the business. Usually such businesses also involve multi-level marketing, which I'm going to describe later in nature that pays out, that payouts occur at more than one level. It's also, you could say, very similar to a franchise. And let me explain this network marketing. Let me, let me explain this definition. In network marketing, you are building a business. You are associated with an MLM company, and there are so many MLM companies out there. I'm going to bring up one in my presentation. You're kind of going to be like, what? A lot of people don't like it. But in an MLM business, you're really um, like an ambassador to this company. You're, associate, you're linking your name with this company, and you're wanting to sell their products. Okay. And in network marketing you want to build your business and in building your business you get people in your business just like a franchise McDonald's a franchise Burger King a franchise Wendy's a franchise Chick-fil-A you get started you get associated with a company like McDonald's or Chick-fil-A or Burger King or whoever and you need people to help you run this business recruits are in a franchise world employees okay and then you help them get paid and then you show them the business and so forth and so forth. And one day, one of those employees could end up being a franchisee themselves because they've learned from you how to run a franchise business. This is what network marketing is all about. I pretty much call it, it's very similar to a franchise. So pay attention. 
okay? So, in network marketing, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the right company. There, again, there are so many companies that are involved in network marketing that you literally need to find what is your niche, what is going to be good for you, okay? Um, and that's why I said that find a company that you feel you can expand your skills the best. With network marketing companies, you can go from doing makeup to jewelry to um, weight loss. There's a lot of health. Um, there's a lot with the healthcare industry in network marketing. Um, there are so many of the MLM companies that are out here. There are so many of them to choose from. But you need to find a company that has a great compensation plan and you can earn very nice residual income. I'm going to describe to you residual income and the great compensation. Um, and basically with the great compensation, pretty much is it going to pay me very good money and they don't have nothing to hide behind. So those are kind of the major things that you need to find in a network marketing business. So what does network marketing consist of? First thing first, start up costs, depending on the company. Every company, when you start with a business, and just like any business, you gotta come, with, come up with money to start your business. Guys, let me tell you something. This is the big reason why so many people don't join a network marketing company. All I knew it was going to cost me some money to get started. It could cost you anywhere from $10 to $1,000. All depends on the company. All depends on how hard you want to work. It's going to depend. Any business that you do, whether it's network marketing or what I do, I'm a jewelry merchandiser and I have a booth in a flea market. But in order for me to have that business, I have to come up with money to get started. You got to pay your booth rent. Or if you have a storefront, you got to pay that rent to have that storefront every month. Okay? Inventory. You got to pay for that inventory, right? Same thing with starting a business. You starting in network marketing, you got to have a startup cost to get started. You can't get started. You just, they, nobody's going to give you a free storefront. Nobody's going to give you a free booth in the flea market. You got to pay for that stuff yourself. Any business that you do, you're going to pay money. This is real. Be real, people. You're not going to start a business for free. And if they tell you, oh, you can start this business for free, run. Because there is a catch when they tell you you're going to start a business for free. There's a catch. I will run. So let's be realistic. You're going to have a startup cost. Network marketing company, you're going to have a startup cost. It don't matter. You're going to have a startup cost. Pay attention to that. You're going to have a cost. Next, flexible hours. You can start your business part-time in network marketing, but you also need to be flexible with your hours. And that there are 24 hours in a day, and there are so many people that have ended up becoming millionaires in network marketing just by working part-time. And we're not talking about part-time as in working after I get off work at 5 o'clock, I'm going to start working from 6 o'clock and I'm going to end at 6.30. No. Be reasonable with your flexible hours and part-time. Meaning, if let's say you end your job at 5 o'clock and you get home by 5.30. Okay, about 7 o'clock, I'm going to get started working on my network marketing business. You may not end till 9, 10 o'clock. By this time, you may have talked to several people. You may have talked to your upline. You may have talked to so many people. But you have to be realistic. Because if you're consistent in your flexible hours, you're consistent with that part time, you're going to make the money. But you're not going to make the money by working from 6 o'clock to 6.15. You can't do it on 15 minutes. No, be realistic. With any part time job, you're going to work 5 to 8, part time. Or on a weekend, if it's part-time, might be from 12 in the afternoon, you get off at 5 o'clock. Be realistic with your time, guys. Also, it consists of recruiting. New business partners. It's something I was saying earlier. And franchise business, that's called employees. You can't just run your business and you don't have nobody to help you. You're going to recruit. Because you want to show these people, your new business partners, look, I'm making this money, I'm going to show you how you can make this money. It's called dupe. It's called rip off and duplicate. You want to do that. You want to show them how you're making the money. You, you're going to do this, okay? Conference calls, webinars, 
Most network marketing companies hold weekly conference calls and webinars. Please pay attention to these conference calls and webinars because it's very vital to your business. Um, most um, businesses, if you even have, if you're even running an actual business, some of the business owners um, go to workshops to better improve their storefront, to better improve their product. They go to workshops, they go to webinars, they do conference calls. So that's what it consists of. It also consists of traveling. Now let me tell you about network marketing and traveling. It's also fun, but it can also be tiring too. But with the tiredness, it's so much fun. And I see for me being in network marketing, it's fun. Because when you're associated with the company, you're in a city, let's say you're in, oh, let's say you're located in New Orleans, Louisiana. And you have a new business partner. And that new business partner is in Chicago, Illinois. You're not going to have all your people in one city. You may have business partners scattered all over the country, possibly all over the world. And when you're trying to open a market or your business partner is going to need your help, you're going to travel. When your company has um, conferences, you're going to travel, going to be in certain states. If they have different things, it's going to require travel. This is how you're going to expand your business. This is how um, people get to see you. You're going to travel, okay? It also was in that traveling and you're meeting more people. This is how the MLM, this is the team building really gets started. This is the real heart and real meat of an MLM or multi-level marketing. This is what you're creating. You're creating that team. I'm going to describe MLM in a minute. But here's the one thing that's also so important. I'm going to zoom in on this word right here. Branding. You're branding. What are you branding? You're branding yourself. You are the brand. Yes, you're part of a network marketing company. But guess what? They see your face. They see your name. They are looking at you. You're the face. You're the brand to represent them. Now I'm finna really shock you. I know you see that writing at the bottom. Some of the known companies in the network marketing arena are, yes, you see these two names, right? Avon, Mary Kay. What? Avon is not an MLM. Mary Kay is not an MLM. Yes, it is. I got involved in Avon long, 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 long time ago. And can I tell you something? Not only does the Avon representative make money by someone buying something out their catalog, these Avon representatives are making money from their team because they have people under them that's also selling and making money. So guess what? When that person underneath them, that Avon representative, if they have an Avon representative underneath them that's making money, guess who else making money? Them. So yes. Avon and Mary Kay are network marketing companies. I'm going to give you another company that's also a network marketing company and has been around forever. Tupperware. What? Tupperware is a network marketing company. Let me say that again. Tupperware is a network marketing company. Now let me say that a third time. Tupperware is a network marketing company. It's an MLM. Can you believe that? It is an MLM. Guys, if these well-known companies that have been around forever can be successful in network marketing just by having people recruit others to sell their products, you can be part of whatever network marketing company you want to be in. These this is how these three companies have become successful. MLM. Shall we continue? Okay, so let's continue. The definition of multi-level marketing. It is defined as a strategy that some direct sales companies use to encourage their existing distributors to recruit um, new distributors by paying the existing distributors a percentage of the recruit sales. The recruiting are known the recruits are known as a distributor's downline. Now let me explain that to you. Let me explain that to you. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that. Yeah. 
Let me explain this to you. <clears throat> in any network marketing company, is network marketing slash MLM, multi-level marketing. When you are recruiting people, when you are getting new business partners to show what you're doing with this company, you're showing the opportunity. You're showing them, look, this is the layout of this company. This is how this company is laid out. Okay? Um, are you? Do you see the opportunity to join this company? Yes or no, whatever. When they, they say yes, guess what? That is a downline that you have now brought into your business. Then you'll get another person. Guess what you're going to call that person? A downline. Anything that they do as far as getting recruits, as far as making sales with the company, you're going to see a percentage of that. Not only do they make money, you make money. And then as many people as they get in, a.k.a. employees, you're going to make money. Prime example, when you when a McDonald's or Burger King or whichever business, don't they make money from their employees? The employees help the business grow? So that's what the recruits do that's what your new business partners are going to do business partners are making you money okay just like any business any storefront they help you employees help you make money okay let's get that straight just because they recruited you for a business it doesn't mean that they're going to just leave you on the code when this there are certain things which I explain in the second part of uh, my Periscopes today with dealing with my second book. I'll get into that a little bit more because you're going to have some people that are so-called in network marketing and they're doing it all wrong. Okay. All right. So let's continue. So here are some of the advantages of network marketing. It's a great way to become your own boss. You're able to spend more time with your family. You can make an unlimited income able to get out of debt, work part-time, able to travel. These are just some of the things that I did talk about earlier, but one of the things that's so great about it is when you end up making so much money and there have been so many people that are in network marketing that have become millionaires, they've gotten out of debt, they've been able to set up, been able to set up funds for their kids to go to college, they're able to continue on um, to pass on uh, their legacy to their kids and then it happens to their kids, their kids, kids, their kids, 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 and so forth and so forth. You're leaving a legacy. You know, and you're able to make all this money. And you're also able to help people. And you're also able to spend more time with your family. Bottom line, you're becoming your own boss. But with advantages of network marketing, there are disadvantages. Here is the number one disadvantage of network marketing. And I know you see that at the top of the screen. Label a pyramid scheme. Let me tell you about that word, pyramid scheme. I get this word all the time. My husband got this word all the time. Oh, what you're doing is a pyramid scheme. What people don't understand or they refuse to understand is everybody's in a pyramid scheme. Have you not paid attention to your org chart? That's what they call that now. They call that an org chart. If you look at your job org chart, what is that org chart shaped like? I didn't know any better that org chart is shaped like a pyramid. Everybody's in a pyramid. Another great example, you have 50 states. Who runs the state? The governor. Who's below the governor? Lieutenant governor. Who's below the lieutenant governor? Secretary of State. Each of these branches have different little legs, a little pyramids that begin to form underneath them. Okay? I'm going to give you another pyramid scheme. I'm going to show you a graphic of a pyramid scheme. And y'all are all going to go, oh my God. Is this for real? Yes, it is. Everybody is involved in a pyramid scheme. This is one example I give. You have a governor. Below a governor is a lieutenant governor. Below a lieutenant governor, you have a secretary of state. Below the secretary of state, so forth and so forth. And you're going all the way down to the bottom low-level people known as the population, the people that live in that state. Okay? Okay. So don't sit there and say, oh, what that business is, what that network marketing is. That ain't nothing but a pyramid scheme. They're gonna just going to take all your money and this. This is not a Ponzi scheme. Okay? This is not a Ponzi scheme. This is a business. And just like any business, 
they're all shaped like a pyramid. And I also say one of the biggest pyramid schemes is Walmart. Walmart have a CEO. You got the board of directors. You, and then you go all the way down to your employees. The low-level people at the bottom of that pyramid are the employees. You need to pay attention to your jobs org chart because it's shaped like a pyramid. Let's continue. Another thing is money earned depends on the number of hours that you put in the business. But you cannot expect $5,000 with only 10 minutes of work. That is unrealistic. If somebody tells you that, run. Because that is not the truth. Okay? And then people from the outside do not understand network marketing. So they have a preconceived notion that it's just... They already have a preconceived notion about the, about the industry. I.e., it's a pyramid scheme and I don't want nothing to do with that pyramid scheme. Okay? So, you ready to hear more about what the definition of pyramid scheme is? Let me tell you about the pyramid scheme. Let's give you a real definition of pyramid scheme. What is a pyramid scheme? Pyramid scheme is defined as participants attempting to make money solely by recruiting new participants into a program with promises of sky-high return in a short period of time for doing nothing. Let me say that again. Pyramid scheme is defined as participants attempting to make money solely by recruiting new participants into a program with the promises of sky high returns in a short period of time for doing nothing other than handing over your money and getting others to do the same. In a nutshell about a pyramid scheme, somebody's going to come to you and say, look, if you pay me $199 I can turn that $199 into $500 if you just bring me some people. And then you make money, I make money. You don't have a product. You don't have a service. You're not presenting nothing. You just get money, get money, get money. AKA, it's a Ponzi scheme. That's what a pyramid scheme is. Pyramid scheme is a Ponzi. There is no product. There is no service. Bottom line. You need a product or a service. If they're sitting there going to tell you to give you this kind of money and they're not telling you what the product or the service is, you better run. That's a pyramid scheme. Okay? But I'm going to show you something else in a minute. And you're going to be really shocked. And this is an example of a pyramid scheme. Again, no, no product, no service. You're just getting a bunch of people. But look here. Look at this. Everyone's in a pyramid scheme. Look at here. Don't you have a CEO, a president, a vice president, a regional manager, store manager, department managers, store clerk, sales clerk? Don't you fall somewhere down here somewhere? Don't that look like a pyramid scheme to you? That's your job that you're working and giving your time to five, six days a week. It's your job. But here's the scary thing. Here, everybody is in here. Look at this one at the bottom. Don't they say school? Is this where you send your kids every day? Look at here. You have a principal. And then below the principal, you got the teachers. What's below the teachers? Our kids. And that not a pyramid? That's not a pyramid. You cannot tell me nobody is involved in a pyramid. Everybody is in a pyramid. Standard business, CEO, managers, and then your staff. Isn't that the same thing? People kill me with that. Oh, what you do? That's a pyramid scheme. You're in a pyramid scheme. Don't you have a CEO? Or better yet, don't you have a manager? Who that manager report to? The director. Who that director report to? So forth and so forth. Look like a pyramid to me. Don't matter what it is, everybody gets involved in a pyramid, including our own children, because we send our kids to school every day. They have a teacher who's above the teacher, principal. Who's above the principal? School board. Come on. Let's get real here, guys. Let's get real. When you're in network marketing, you need to be professional. Let me describe this. And the reason I put this on here, let me um, do this definition. Professionalism is defined as the conduct, aims, quality and that characterize a mark of profession or a professional person. Examples of professionalism. Let me say examples of professionalism. Respect, good judgment, polite, skillful, well-trained. Good behavior, job well done, good work ethic, countable. 
just like I told you earlier what happened which made me decide to do this refresher the guy was so unprofessional he was so mean but yet when I did some research on his company the company is an MLM company this is going to give a bad taste because you're negative you're a negative person in an associated with an MLM company which means this is what tells me and that what tells anybody that's wanting to get involved with him if you're negative and you're part of this negativity in this MLM company that means everybody in that company is negative and I'm not going to tell you everybody's like that everybody is not like that but I will say this since me being a jewelry merchandiser and getting back into merchandising um I have two companies, two jewelry companies that are my biggest competitors. And let me tell you, one particular jewelry company, I'm not going to mention the name, everywhere I go with this, it doesn't matter what vendor event I do, this other jewelry company shows up. Every representative of this company are all negative, they're unprofessional. They're not polite. They just sit there and just sell and they don't understand what they're selling. They don't understand the ethics. They don't understand. All they're knowing is I just need to get all these people. I need to make all this money. Okay, but what's your reasoning for being with this company? What's your, what is it? Is it really showing your skills? Is it really bringing out what you, what, what your talents are? If it's not doing that, then you're going to be miserable. And this one particular person I always see at several events that I do. Because when I do an event with my jewelry, she's there. She's never smiling. She's barely polite. When you ask her a question, it, it has a negative connotation. You can't do that in business. If it's MLM or if it's a storefront, you have to be professional, guys. You got to be professional. And I'll go to her table or anybody's table and I'll go there with a smile. And even with my booth in the flea market, there are several jewelry vendors. My daughter told me yesterday, Mama, did you know such and such, such and such company is out here too? It is. Yeah, Mama, isn't that your biggest competition? It is. I said, oh, that person right there. Yeah, she went such and such and such and such. It's the same thing. I wanted to just laugh. You see this person, she's negative. She doesn't smile. She has her nose. She rolls her eyes all the time when she sees me. And it's like, come on, we're all vendors. We're all here to support each other. We're all here um, to get our names out there and so forth and so forth. It's every time I see her, she never cracks a smile. She's always mean. Um, my daughter saw her and she kind of just rolled her eyes at my daughter. And I'm going, oh, this I need to bring this refresher back out. This needs to be done. This needs to be said. Please, in your business, in your network marketing business, in your storefront, it doesn't matter. Please be polite. Please have professionalism. Please. It is so necessary. Because you don't understand with professionalism, you bring out others that will notice you because of your professionalism and then they may end up asking you to do this or that or what have you and it could end up to something big so professionalism is so important guys it's so okay another thing you're gonna have competition with other MLM companies I mean let's face it you're gonna have competition you're gonna have friendly competition but you know should it take place no it should not take place but I mean it happens you're gonna have competition Burger King versus McDonald's versus Wendy's and so forth and so forth but just like any business I'm just compete for business and they also compete for recruits and I'm saying recruits as far as right here MLM okay you're gonna have recruits but I'm also going to tell you the definition of cross recruiting and why cross recruiting is such a no-no and I mean let's just face it you're going to have competition, but you're going to have friendly competition. But come on. With some MLM companies, you're going to have companies that will lead to unethical and unlawful behavior. This happens in MLM. You're going to see behavior where it becomes, you're stepping on the lines of unethical, and you're stepping on the lines of being unlawful. And a lot of that stems with cross-recruiting. And I'm going to give you the definition of cross-recruiting. 
and why cross recruiting is such a no-no. Cross recruiting is defined as using contacts from a prior MLM, multi-level marketing company, and putting them as your downline, your downline in your new company. And what it is is, in a nutshell, you'll have somebody that will leave a company, will go to a new network marketing company, and will say all kind of bad things about this company. This company's about to shut down. It's not making you no money. I don't know why you're even being associated with this company. You come and join our company. We're the best in the world. And you'll never have those promises as far as what you're dealing with in that other company. Don't do that. I have seen people cross recruit. The company found out about the cross recruiting. And they ended up being terminated for cross recruiting. Please, please, please. Do not try to cross recruit anyone that you know is associated with another MLM company. That is unlawful. That is unethical. And it, in many MLM companies, it breaks policies and procedures. You do not want to be that person that ends up being terminated from an MLM company because you were cross recruiting someone from another company to competition. And you end up not lo not only losing your business, you lose customers. You're going to lose your brand. You lose notoriety. You lose a whole bunch of things just by cross-recruiting. And there are lots of companies in their policies and procedures. Will in black and white, cross-recruiting is prohibited. Don't do it. Please pay attention to your company's um, policies and procedures dealing with cross-recruiting. It is a no-no. Okay, and let me tell you what cross recruiting looks like. You gonna know what cross recruiting looks like. These are people that are desperate. These are people that left the company because they didn't make no money. They going to this other company. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make all this money. I don't know why you with this such and such such. Company. You with ABC. I'm with DEF. DEF is much better than ABC. Um, you need to come to my company. Bottom line, you're desperate looking for people because you weren't successful in your other company. So when you go to this new company, you're going to go back to the previous company and recruit those people. No. Don't do that. That's cross-recruiting. That's a no-no. And when they cross-recruit, it's unprofessional. True story. This is a true story. And this was funny. My husband and I was a part of a previous MLM company. One of the major people that was part of this company left and went to another company. So when our company had our next conference, this person sent their people that they had gotten from our company to go to our conference and try to cross recruit half the people that was in that building. If that's not desperate and unprofessional, I don't know what was. He ended up getting kicked out and they ended up suing him because he was trying to cross recruit. Don't do that. That was beyond desperate. That was beyond unprofessional. That was beyond unethical. That was beyond all kinds of breaking policies and procedures from both our company, his company, and every other company that's associated with MLM. Bottom line, don't do it. If you do it, you're going to get caught and you're going to be terminated. Don't do it. That's why I have at the bottom of the screen, do not cross recruit. Don't do it. You do it, you're going to get terminated. So what have you learned? What can we learn about network marketing? It's just like any industry, it has its ups and downs. Um, there are so many people that are associated with network. Um, there are so many different companies to choose from in the network marketing world. You got to learn how to be professional in network marketing. I mean, not just network marketing, but just in any business, you got to learn how to be professional. Build a strong team. And if you have a strong team, you will have a strong business. Never lose focus. There are people that's going to tell you that what you're doing is horrible. You're not going to make no money and it will end up losing your focus. Never lose your focus. Build your business. Stay the course. Don't lose it. Be a leader as well as a student. Learn from the top people how they were able to have success in a network marketing business. How they've, and not just network marketing or MLM, any business. Doesn't matter what it is, any business. Be a student. Never forget your humble beginnings. Never forget where you started from. I know I'm not forgetting where I started from. Bottom line, last but not least, make it fun. Have a whole lot of fun.
So I hope I was able to give you some of the information that um, could help you in your network marketing journey if you're looking to start a net to partner with a network marketing company if you're looking to start your own business it doesn't matter I hope I'm able to um, share with you some of the ideas of how you can be the best network marketer that you can be okay and I'm really hoping that I've been able to help you in those aspects I'm going to give you um, my email address and I'm also going to show you a couple of ways on how you can purchase my book the same things I just went through today, you can purchase right here. Here's my book. You can find all this information in my book. It's not a very big, it's not a thick book. Very inexpensive. Um, this book is available. If you purchase the book through me, it's $9. Nine bucks. That's all. Nine dollars. Here's a couple of ways you can get the book. If you're interested in my book on everything that I've just discussed, um, you can go to my Create Space page. That's www.createspace.com slash 5811974. It's going to direct you to um, my site to get my book. Now, if you get it through there, the price is a little bit higher. It's you know not much higher. It's $9.95 uh, on the website. If you want it for just $9, um, email me. This is my email address, VenetiaAlexander at ymail.com. Again, everything I just went through in this presentation, it is in my book, okay? And if you want any inf uh, additional information, if you want to follow me, if you want to contact me, um, here is my Facebook link um, on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash venetia.marshall. You can find me on Twitter, um, twitter.com slash venetia7810, and you can find me on LinkedIn, um, and that's me right there on LinkedIn. So again, I hope I've been able to help you out with some of the things and some of um, the knowledge on how you can be the best network marketer that you can be. Again, here is a copy of my book right here. This is what it looks like. Here it is. Very thin. Again, if you order it directly from me, $9. Just email me, VenetiaAlexander at YML.com. I'm going to show you my email again. Here it is, Venetia Alexander at ymail.com. Book is nine dollars. So thanks for joining me for part one. Um, part two, um, are you a network marketer or not? I'm about to start that in about 30 minutes or so. Uh, so just come back and join me. So I hope to see you in about 30 minutes or so. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.